Okay, hello everyone, and uh, just to let you know, this is what's up here, and uh, I just wanted to show you a few things uh, that I have been looking at recently, uh, mainly with this little uh, toroid coil here. Uh, maybe I can just start by uh, showing you what I'll be using throughout this uh, video. Uh, this is my pulse generator, it's an HP, an 8111A. Jeez. Okay. Um, throughout this whole video, I'm going to be uh, pulsing with my pulse generator that particular toroid. And uh, just to let you see here that the uh, amplitude will be at 16.5 volts. The duty width will be at 10%. I'll be using my frequency adjustment here to get the, fr the frequencies for my uh, resonance. And uh, here we have square wave, and here it's set at normal, and there's not really anything else to show on this uh, frequency generator, so all I will be adjusting is the frequency adjustment throughout this video. Um, let's go back to the toroid here. This toroid is a bucking mode toroid that I wound. Uh, using a uh, T200-26 toroid core. Uh, the winding is uh, 32 turns of 20 gauge wire per side. So you have 32 turns here, 32 turns here. Uh, the windings start on the same side on one end. So this is going here from the bottom, going all the way across and then coming here. And then this one here is going from the bottom, going over and coming back here. Here, they're both connected together. So I only have two wires here for pulsing. Now, before I start any pulsing on this, I just want to show you with uh, just my uh, power supply, which is right there. We're going to turn it on. And we're just going to give this thing like 3 volts or 2.7 volts, 5 amps. It's going straight, this is straight DC into the toroid, uh, toroid. And all I wanted to do is show you the polarity on this. So here you have the red on that compass is north. It should be pointing north usually. So we have that here pointing south. This is south field here. We come across here. We are now north field. We're going across here. We're still at north field. And then we come across here and we are at south field again. So basically what you have is a south, north, north, south field. So here you have south, here you have north. Uh, the blotch wall should be about right here. So you can see the blotch wall here. It's not extremely well pronounced but just to show you and you have a blotch wall here. So here's my blotch wall right there. I have south on this side, north on this side. So every pulse that I get, I'm doing south, north, north, south, south, north, north, south, south, north, north, south. Uh, okay, so this is with the power supply. I'm going to turn the power supply off. I'll turn the video off. I'm going to set it up for, uh, for pulsing. Okay, we're back. I just connected the toroid to my pulse generator. And uh, so this thing is getting 16.5 volts at 10% uh, duty. Uh, I'm not really concerned after this point with anything having to do with voltage or amperage. I'm not really looking at any voltage or amperage here. Uh, all of my coils, I have a whole bunch of different coils here. Even this little nifty one here, which comes off of a monitor yoke coil. I have two of them. And all I did with all these coils is I just added an LED. Okay, all I want to see is how they're lighting up at what angles over this toroid. Uh, so I have a, a pretty good selection of coils here, different types. So let's start with uh, this simple one here. I'm just going to put it right there and get the frequency that I need on that. Uh, There you go. 
direction. I don't know if you can see that thing light up or not. Lights up very, very lightly. Uh, let me just get this like this here. Okay. I'll try and get this thing to light up a little brighter. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's try and get that. Okay, there you go. This is about 10 kilohertz. So you see here this coil, it's in the middle between the north and the south pulsings. The north, uh, north here, south there, pulsing through this coil here. And I'm getting some good LED light here. Bring it a little further, I get less. Bring it closer, I get more. Okay. Uh, here nothing, here very little, here also very little, best right here, which is a little weird. Okay, so this is the first one, let's go to the second one here, and this one here, I pre-tagged some of these with frequencies that I have already tested them with, this one here is a 3.85 megahertz, and uh, here you have a little, I put a little diet, a little design showing that the coil should be half on the other coil. <laughs> so we're basically looking at this like this here. There you go. Uh, 3.85 megahertz. We're still at 10 kilohertz and it's lighting up. But let's go to the 3.5. Uh, that would be about right there. And then in some instances, depending on where it's placed, you can get uh, you can get, can get it to light up uh, much brighter. You see right now, 4.89 megahertz. 4.89 megahertz, and there you have that. When I put it in the middle, it doesn't really want, but I can find other frequencies that it will. Let's look for a few. Uh, okay, it's going to take too long there. So this one here is like so. We'll take these ones here. I tag them at 0.9 megahertz. Basically putting one here like that. The other one here like this. Turn this like that. Keep this towards you. And just pan out a bit. Okay. So let's go and get that frequency. There you go. one. I don't know why this one's not going on, but it should be going on. It's just video. There you go. So both of these are lit. This is a really nifty little coil. I can take away one of these and uh, just to show you with one coil. Look at that. Just putting it over here like that and I'm getting some good lighting here. I checked, the, I checked these LEDs. It's about 2.5 volts. But I'm 